Jen and Nita here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body straight set workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing 11 exercises performed in straight sets, which is one exercise at a time. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. Our working time is 30 seconds. Our break time is 15 seconds. In between the different exercises, we'll then take a 30 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to leave a comment on the workout and let us know what you thought about this workout and workouts you want to see in the future. Now let's get to work. All right, we have about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going into for the warm up is an alternating forward lunge. So get some space out in front of you. We're gonna drop a foot out, get that lunge, come back, Switch legs. There we go. So 30 seconds on. There we go. Coming out nice and easy. Stepping back. Switching legs. There we go. Go at your own pace. If you can't go down all the way, halfway is fine. Come back up and just every rep try to drop down a little further. So there are no breaks during the warm ups. So just go 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. So maybe one, one more 30. I don't know. Next, we're we'll going to be going in to toe touches, so we're gonna get our feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. More here, there we go. So feet nice and wide, we're gonna drop down, touch our toe, come up, switch sides, there we go. Try to keep the back, lower back straight, you're bending at the hips. If you wanna have your knees straight, you can. If you wanna have a slight bend in the knees, that's fine as well. Stretching out those hamstrings. There we go. After this, we're going in to alternating lateral lunges. So we're going to keep our feet here. One more. There we go. So now we're going to do just drop to one side and the lateral lunge, come up, switch sides. This is what happens when you have a lefty and a righty <laughs> working out together. <laughs> there we go. There you go. <laughs> I'll get us back on track. Next, we're gonna be going in to jumping jacks. Whew. Let's get one more here. There we go. So, feet together, coming up, back down. Low impact, right here. Nice and easy. Go at your own pace. Whew. Don't forget to breathe. Heels off the ground, powering through with the calves. There we go. Get that blood moving. Next, we're going in to chest openers. Here we go, so slight bend in the elbows, pulling the arms back, opening that chest, coming back across. When you come across, kind of cross your arms. If you want, you can pull one arm across, stretch out the back while we're at it. There we go. Again, go at your own pace. Here we go. Next, we're going into a high pull with external rotation. So hands down, we're going to pull up, and then once we're up here, externally rotate, come back down. So pull up, and then externally rotate. Come back down. When you're up here, try to squeeze back, squeeze the back. There we go. After this one, we're going into the workout. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with the workout. Our first exercise we're going into is clean pull, so we just need one dumbbell for this. What we're going to do here is have our feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to bend at the hips and knees, dropping down, explode back up, pull the dumbbell to our chest, come back down. Here we go. So dropping down, coming up. Here we go. Keep the dumbbell nice and close to the body here. And halfway, we'll switch sides. There we go. Switch it up. Chest out, head up, core engaged. Here we go. Dropping straight down, coming straight back up. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Going back into it for set two.
and grab some water as needed. Here we go. Going back into it. Dropping down, coming up. So if you want to put more legs into this, just try to drop further down. It's going to create more of a squat here. If you want more back, just a nice small bend at the hips and knees. Here we go. Switch it up. Thanks for telling us. I we saw your switch. I said it loosely <laughs> to you. <laughs> What is that called? Telepathy? Yeah. Whatever it is. We ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna. That's alright. I saw you. Alright, going back into it. Set three. Come on. Drop it down. Coming up. Here we go. Good control movements here. Switch it up. Don't forget to breathe, chest out, head up. Five seconds left. Come on, come on, one more. There we go. All right, I got a 30 second break here. We're going in to a reverse lunge left, so you may need a mat here. So what we're gonna do, actually, let me turn sideways. Grab the dumbbells. So our left leg is gonna be forward on these. Take a big step back, shift our weight back, and then shift it back forward like that. Explode up. So left leg stays forward, right leg's moving. Here we go, step back, explode. Remember to shift that weight, and then boom. So it's okay to be leaning forward like this, as long as it's at the hips and not at the lower back. So when you lean more forward, that's going to put more tension on the hamstrings. So you're going to feel the hamstring and glutes start to work a lot more. When you're more straight up, that's going to be more quads. There we go. We're staying on the same side. So left leg stays forward, right leg is moving. Feel it in the hamstrings. Woo! Oh, yeah. Here we go. Going back into it. Come on. Here we go. Big step back. Explode forward. I held it this way. Oh, there you go. You can keep the chest out. Gets me a little Head up. <laughs> yeah. Engage the core. There we go. Come on, we got a few more. One more. There we go. Woo! Last one here. Left leg stays forward, right leg's moving. Starting down. Yeah. There we go. Ah. Come on. Here we go, push it out. Woo, burns real. Ah. My, glutes, right. my glutes are on fire. Let's go. Find your weak points. Find your happy place. <laughs> Let's go. One more. There we go. Woo! 30 seconds, switching sides. Reverse lunge, right side, coming up. So right leg stays forward, left leg is the mover. I can definitely tell that I'm quad dominant. Yeah, you feel the most thing? Because my glutes and hams are on fire and my quads are feeling like nothing. <laughs> I went a little heavier. So Here we go. Right, right leg stays forward, left leg drops back. Remember to take a nice big step back, shift that weight, explode forward. There we go. Push yourself. Here we go. Good reps. Come on, keep it up. Let's go, one more. There we go. Put a little extra work right there. Going to set two. Let's 
get ready. Come on. Explode up. Come down. Remember, left leg here is dropping back. Come on, keep pushing. 10 seconds. Here we go. Got one more. Boom. Here we go. Go to set three. Way to push it. Keep pushing. Don't give up. Don't give up. Here we go. Come up. Drop down. Come up. Drop down. Nice big step back. There we go. Come on. 10 seconds. Go one more. There we go. All right, next we're going in to push ups or chest press. I'll do chest press on the first one, and then I'll probably switch to push ups after that. So I'm going to kind of get my stuff set up here. Go on here, on there. That looks great. Is I take up the whole space? No. <laughs> Gotta work on the logistics. Uh -huh. Here we go. There you go. So, coming down, back up. When you come up, hit those dumbbells together. Squeeze the chest when you do that. Arms should be about 45 degrees away from the body. Come up, squeeze the chest. Here we go. Good control movements. Come on. There we go. So I'm going to switch to push ups, but I'm actually going to do my push ups on the dumbbells here. So that way you can get a little better range of motion with them. Let's see. Here we go. So get the dumbbells where you want to come down. Touch the chest to the ground, come back up. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> it's a little different. Come on. Good control movements. There we go. Let's go. There we go. Set three. So if it gets a little too tough, you can always drop to your knees. If it's still too tough, what you can do is as you come down, just rest your chest on the floor for a one or two count, then push back. So what you can do is come down here, rest. Give it a one, two, push. Come back down, rest, and repeat. Come on. Push it out. Couple more reps. Keep pushing. One more. There we go. Woo! All right, we got RDLs coming up. Have some heavier dumbbells here. There we go. So for RDLs. Slide bend in the knees, then we're bending at the hips, right here. Here we go. So coming down, back up. Keep the back nice and straight. When I'm here, back is straight. We're not like this. Dumbbell stay close to the legs, butt sinks back. Bend down as far as you can while keeping the back straight. Here we go. One more. Woo! There we go. Set two. Push ups got the heart rate up. They really did. Here we 
Here we go. Keep the back nice and straight. Coming down and up. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. There we go. Good control movements. Come on, keep pushing. There you go. Going to set three here. Woo! Hamstrings are feeling it. Here we go. Come on. Dropping down. Coming up. Dropping down. Ah, come on. Here we go. Push it out. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. One more. Here we go, 30 second break. We're going in to shoulder press. Woo! Feeling good, feeling good. So, for this one, I'm gonna grab our dumbbells, palms face out away from us, elbows stay in front of the shoulders. From here, push up, come back down. Here we go. So coming up, back down, up, back down. Here we go. Good controlled movements. If it gets a little tough, what you can do is use your legs to help you Power up with momentum, slowly lower it. Nice and controlled, drop back down. There we go. Another option is just to alternate left and right. Let's get one more. There we go. Going in the set two. Woo, I'm sweating. Me too. Here we go. Curl them up. Palms out. Coming up and down. Nice controlled movements. Here we go. Keep the core engaged. Let's go. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's get two more. One more. Here we go. Woo! Last set here. Let's push it out the set. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. The bird never went away. Come on. Let's go. Push it out, come on. Two more. Last one. Woo! There we go. 30 second break. We're going a bit over rows left. So, get a nice little heavier dumbbell here. Wipe the sweat off real quick. Get the nice split stance going on. If you want, take the free hand, put it right here on the lower part of your quad or your elbow right here to help brace the lower back. From here, palm facing us. We're gonna come up, back down. Here we go. So, coming up, back down. Palms facing our body. Here we go. Elbow is out from the body a little bit but it's not flared way out. So, a little bit, right here, not here. It's not way out here. There you go. One more. There we go. We're going to set two. Feeling good? Oh yeah. Feels good. It's all feeling good. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go, same side. Still on the left side, set two. Try to go all the way up, all the way down. So exhale when you pull the dumbbell up, inhale on the way down. Here we go. Come on. Let's get two more. One more. There we go. Good stuff. Woo! Set three right here. Let's push it. Come on, keep going. Full range of motion. Gotta embrace that burn. Let's go. Ah, come on. Halfway through right here. There we go. Good reps. Now nah, keep it going. We got one more. 30 seconds, going to bend over rows, right side. Keep pushing. Don't give up on us. If you need to take a little break, that's fine. Just don't quit. Here we go, switching sides. Get ready. One more. Up. Oh. And up. Oh. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Remember exhaling when you pull it up, inhaling on the way down. Come on. Let's go. One more. Good set right there. Woo! I got sweat galore over here. <laughs> here we go. Set two right here. Come on. If you want, you can come up, take a little hold, and then come back down. Come up, little hold. Woo! It's gonna set it on fire. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Three more. One more. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on. We got one more set here. And we're moving on. Last set of rows right here. Here we go. I'm up and up and down. Here we go. Come on. Ten seconds. Push it out. Last one. There we go. All right, 30 seconds, then we're going into lying tricep extension. So for this one, you can use one or two dumbbells. I'm using one dumbbell. So we're gonna lie on our back here. Get that dumbbell out there. Lay down here. There we go. So we're gonna pick it up by one of the ends right here. From here, coming out over our head, coming back up. So, when we come up and our elbows are extended, we do not want our arms to be vertical. We want them to be straight but leaned back over our head to create constant tension on the triceps. Here we go, come down, tap, come back up. There we go. Come on. If you want to use two dumbbells, you can. So hold the handles on the dumbbells during this one. 
Still coming out over your head though. So, same position at the top. Coming down and back up. The nice thing about two dumbbells is that you're actually getting a greater range of motion since you're holding on to the handle and not one of the ends. There we go. The other thing is if it gets too heavy, when it's down here, you can just kind of drop your arms like that, push up, and then get there, come back down just like that. There we go. Set three. There we go. Arms up, on and down, and back up. Again, if it gets too tough, what you can do is just drop them to the ground here, pull them, and then do a press up, tricep extension down, like that. It's gonna help you really overload the triceps doing it that way. One more. One more. There we go. Woo! Good stuff right there. We got bicep curls coming up next. Burning. Oh yeah, they're shaking. Mm -hmm. All right, so right here, palms facing out, away from us. Curl up, come back down. Get some water first. Couple seconds. Here we go. Coming up, back down. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Come on, push yourself here. If you need to, you can always alternate. Just like that. Even if you're doing doubles and you want to make it a little easier, what you can do is drop the dumbbells to your side. That's going to take the tension off the biceps for a little bit. There we go. On this next one, maybe we do some close curls. Ooh. Change it up a little bit. Sounds good. So for this one, try to get your inner dumbbells together and then keep them nice and close. Just keep the dumbbells together. If you need to alternate, what we're gonna do is kind of come across the body. For the close curls, when you come up, try to get that pinky higher than the thumb. Woo, that's gonna burn it up. Come on. Wow, let's go. One more. <clears throat> Woo! All right, on our last one here, we're gonna do hammer curls. Hammer time! I like your style. Mm hmm. Here we go. So this time, palms face each other. Right here. So neutral wrist position, and then we never move the wrist. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Oh, biceps are burning. Here we go. A couple more. We're going to last one right here. Woo! Here we go. Right, we've got 30 seconds. We're going into abs. So, for the abs, well, actually, for the first one, we don't need a mat. We may need a mat. So, what we're going to do is plank hops first. So plank position, and then what we're going to do is hop our feet forward, bringing our butt up, and then coming back to straight. Here we go. So hopping the feet forward, hopping them back, engaging the core. If that's too tough, get in plank position, and what you're going to do is kind of sink your hips. Back, squeezing the core, come back. So you're trying to bring the butt up using the core. Come on. Squeeze the core. Every time you bring the feet up, exhale. Squeeze the abs. Come on. Here we go. Next we're going in to plank jacks. So this time, our feet are going to start together. We're going to hop apart. Our butt doesn't come up. Woo. 
Here we go. So, feet out and together. Low impact on this, or easier mod, it's just one foot at a time. If your shoulders get tired, drop down on your elbows, and you can do it this way as well. You probably better not be sweating like me. Or your arms are just gonna slide. Let's go. Come on. 10 seconds. Push it out. Gauge the core. There we go. Last one we got. Knees to elbows. So we're gonna do the same side, knee to elbow. It's like Spider-Man's, but we're just keeping one side, on one side only. Leg position. Here we go. So just one elbow comes up to the knee, back down. Bam, bam, bam. Low impact, just drop the knee down. Or modification, drop the knee down. Here we go, just like that. Come on, switch it up. Push it out, come on. Burn it up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Ah, oh, right. shoulders, shoulders and abs right Everything. there. Woo! There we go. Good job. Way to push it. Good job. Oh, my shoulders are on fire too. Oh, way to work today. Way to go. That's a tough one. It was. It was fun though. I love good the job. straight sets. Straight sets always get you a good burn. Whew. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.